Hello guys, welcome to Commerce Adda. If you are preparing for UGC NET examination, please do subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon. Do not forget to hit the like button and do comment if you have any doubts. So as part of the UGC NET paper one uh, short video series, we have entered into the third uh, uh, type of a research that is qualitative versus quantitative research, which is forming part of the research aptitude unit number two in the paper one UGC NET examination. Most important topic, many questions are there in the 2021 as well as 2020 examination, 2019 examination. Let us try to differentiate. I will be telling the keywords related to qualitative, quantitative and will understand the qualitative, quantitative meaning also. Let's go into the details. First, let's see what do you mean by quantity? Quantity means a number first. It means a number. Quantity means a number, expression in a number form are something which we can quantify. There are five uh, men's and five women's. Five means I'm giving a number. Gender is an attribute or the quality. But five men's or five women's is nothing but that's a number I'm assigning. So there are 10,000 population quantifying. I am able to measure something which is in a numbering form is called as a quantitative. That's a quantitative. Whereas when I can't able to measure in numbers, when I can't able to quantify something, when, when I can't able to measure something, that's an quality, which is an attribute or the character. Attribute or the character. Attribute or a characteristics. So simply the example, can you measure the beauty of a uh, lady or can you measure the handsomeness of a boy? You cannot measure, you cannot measure in a number form, but you can tell, yes, he's handsome. His uh, skin is very fair. And uh, you can just tell about the girl also. She is very beautiful. She looks beautiful. Her hairstyle is good, but you cannot quantify them in number. You can convert them into number, but you cannot quantify it directly into a number. You are just telling about their attributes, their characteristic features. That's it. That is what uh, a qualitative expression. Here we would say the trend analysis will come. We can tell about the trend, but we cannot quantify something. We cannot quantify something that uh, will not be in a number form. Now let us look into the questioning areas related. The keywords I will show you clear cut difference between the both and when that words will be used in what context, what is the meaning of that word? Let us try to understand. So quantitative research is a research method that is used to generate a numerical data. It's used to generate a numerical data. So here, hard facts by employing a logical, statistical, mathematical techniques will be used to analyze this quantitative type of a research technique. Statistics will be used logical and uh, mathematical. Whereas here qualitative is concentrating on why, how means reasons are important in the qualitative. Here the data is important in the quantitative. Whereas here reasons how it will, it will happen, why it is happening. So of the phenomenon due to this, it is defined as a subjective in nature, whereas quantitative more of an objective in nature. This is more of a objective in nature, whereas qualitative is of very much subjective in nature, not objective because findings are gathered in a written format as opposite to the numerical uh, form. Here findings are going to be there in a numerical form, whereas here findings are going to be there in a written form descriptive format it is going to be there in a written form here if you look at the characteristics collection of data and analysis of data data is in the sense it can be a numbers data numbers mainly and uh, here uh, hypothetical deductive means uh, deductive approach will be followed deductive in the sense moving from the general to particular general to particular so there is at almost 120 crores population is there in India. In that how many are literate, how many are illiterate. I will get to know the number if I look into the census. And if they are literate, how many got employed, how many got unemployed. I will get to know from general to particular I reached to an. From the whole population I, I reached to an unemployment youth in India, unemployment graduates in India. I have the number, I have the statistics, everything is there. Deductive, deductive. And in this hypothesis can be possible hypothesis. We can able to, we can able to make a hypothesis. We can able to test, uh, test the hypothesis by various statistical techniques of hypothesis because numbers are there. Everything is there. 
we can just fit into the formulas of various hypothesis testing and we can make the hypothesis uh, and we can expect the outcome of the research also. That's why it is an hypothetical deductive in nature moving from a general to particular. Whereas it lays a generalization uh, to the population characteristics. Generalization in the sense, whatever the outcome is going to come from here, we are in a position to tell with confidence because statistical figures are available to tell about the outcome. So here it can be having a possible. We will be emphasizing more on a generalization, how we can able to generalize because it is moving from a general to particular. Maybe it was, it will be applicable to that particular situation. But after getting an outcome that is true everywhere, that means simply I would say this is having an external validity. This is having an external validity, not internal validity. If something is true in a quantitative research, it will be true everywhere, wherever the data is existed as such. So it emphasizes on numerical data from a large number of people, recommends a final course of action also. It recommends a final course of action. In a simple sense, whatever the outcome of a research that you got in a quantitative form is going to have an external validity, which can be accepted by many number of people because this is substantially supported by statistical, mathematical, logical figures. Whereas if you come to the characteristics of qualitative, it is only listens to the participant view. Achha, whether how many girls are beautiful, how many boys are good, uh, beautiful, like that you can just uh, everybody perception about the beauty and handsome in a different way. Somebody may like a smile, somebody may like others. So the attributes are changing or the characteristics are changing from a person to person. There is no rigid outcome. There is no standard outcome that we can expect. There is no standard point of view of a people. Everybody looking at their own point of view that will change the outcome also, which will create a complexity. And here asking open-ended question. Here actually closed ender, you will be having objectives and uh, you will be having a numerical data. Based on that, you will be just uh, questions will be answered. But here open-ended question, open-ended question, we, which we cannot answer in a direct one. We will be writing uh, our own uh, answer. I will write one answer, you will write one answer. Like that, the questions are going to be there in this. And uh, building understanding based on the participant view only. Just here the participants are the heroes because they are actually giving a data to the researcher. So based on the participant perspective only, the researcher is trying to understand something and he is going to give the data. And go to the settings to gather the data. Go to the settings to gather the data. Setting is nothing but here direct visit of the researcher will be there. Direct. Suppose I wanted to identify the people's behavior in the tribal area. What is their people behavior about the outside world? Now, if I wanted to know about that uh, behavior of a tribal people in a particular area, first I need to go to the tribal area. I will go to that setting to gather my data. What I will observe directly with my eyes. Empirically, I will collect by observation. Empirically in the sense by observing directly. I am the witness for my data. I am the live researcher going there and collecting a data. What is their lifestyle? What type of dresses they are wearing? What type of food they are taking? And what type of lifestyle they are de uh, dealing? And what is their houses? How their houses are designed? And how, how their lifestyle is going on with a different different type of uh, traditions and all? Everything I will analyze by directly observing them. So researcher presence in the study because my direct presence is available. Qualitative research paradigm emphasizes on the participant perspective. Use as an empirical inductive means this is tribal is a particular thing. From that I will generalize. Achha, if these tribals are like this, this can be also possible like other tribals also nearby he, uh, like this only. Or else tribal from area to area, tribal their activities and their traditions will also change. Empirical in the sense direct observation. Direct observation. Because researcher is directly going and collecting. That is direct observation of the researcher. It takes a data. Look at it takes a data, uh, takes the form of a picture and words. Here numbers are not going to be there. That is why either a pictures are in a words are uh, just uh, trying to interact with them, directly speaking with them, converting them, the, those Indian words, all those things will be there. And it is a process of naturalistic inquiry. That's why naturalistic inquiry as well as you, when you are going in uh, directly into the lives of them, you can naturally see them, how they are reacting, how they are responding and how they are uh, doing their life. Everything you can observe, in-depth understanding also you can get it, ground reality you can get it. 
and this uh, qualitative research is also flexible in nature flexible there is no research format for a qualitative type of research there is no proper format to be followed whereas quantitative we have a format but for a qualitative we can change the flexibility is offered because when we don't have a number how we can have a standard format we don't have a number that's why we don't have a standard format that's why we are having a flexibility that we can uh, manipulate to some extent fabrication can be done means a manipulation of a data or manipulation of something because that's and purely one's own observation. We are going to write it on research. Whatever the finding that we observed, our own experience is going to be depicted or as an outcome of the qualitative research. That's all. I hope you got the clarity about these are the direct questioning area points, which I collected from the previous year question, not from any book. Straight away previous year question statement, those are. So if you understood the qualitative and quantitative type of research, do not forget to hit the like button and do mention your uh, understanding of a both a type of research in the comment box. Do not forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. Thank you so much. We'll meet in the next video.